warmest holiday wishes from CMT. It's about the season. It's about you. When I was a learner, I saw both night and day. I asked the Lord to guide me, and He showed me the way. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the Listen to that. Where's your Christmas spirit, girl? I think it got stolen along with the rest of our stuff. Hey, at least they didn't get your first love. My fiddle? Yeah, we've got everything else, though. All our gear, our clothes. And they took the present I got for you, and it was a good one. Maybe you'll lock the door next time. I need to eat, how about you? Yep. How much money do we have? Well, if our credit cards aren't maxed, enough for a couple burgers, maybe fries. Find a truck stop. Even a truck stop will be open on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Christmas sucks. <laughs> there isn't even any snow. Slowly, maybe just get down the road a little further. <sighs> you wish. The nearest town is the one we left this morning. It's gotta be something. No, no burger joints, no gas stations, no auto repair shops, no nothing. What was that? That's what? That, Lone Star. Beer, the state, or the band. The sign, we just passed a sign for Lone Star. Town. Well, it, it was a sign that was maybe for a town. Well, maybe we need a town. We're going back. The map says there aren't any towns. Where there's a sign, there's a town. We're going back. Sound better? Someone might pass and offer to help. It's Christmas Eve. We're in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's gonna come by. My guts is this way. I think you're crazy. Look, Esther, this is the deal. We either can stay on the highway where we know there's nothing, or we can follow the sign that says there's a town. We need a garage. Garage. Yeah. Fill it up, Fred. Would you snap out of it, Esther? This routine of yours is wearing thin. What routine? I have no routine. You've been on me all day. Well, that's because this day has been horrible. You know, all our stuff got stolen, and according to you, it's my fault. I never said it was your fault. Well, you just bring up the unlocked door every two minutes. Yeah, well, next time, lock the door, then. Well, maybe if you didn't leave me to do all the dirty work, like loading up all the gear and, and dealing with that loser booking guy, maybe if you had helped out instead of heading for a bar. I was shopping for your present, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> all right, Fred. 
what you get. Forget it. Forget it. You do whatever. Oh, right, something to eat. Bartender, I'll have a very, very cold beer. Coming right up. Hey, that was great. Thanks. Hmm. Is that okay? It's old. It's cheap. It plays. Not bad. You might want to get a better one for your show, so. <clears throat> Jeez, Fred, you scared the hell out of me. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were. Looks like you're spending Christmas here, darling. <sighs> the only guy knows how to fix cars took off yesterday. The whole town's on holiday now. Who's Fred? What? You thought I was Fred. Uh, right, Fred. Fred took off. Probably at a bar. Well, there's only one place to open tonight. You look cold. <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, I'm more worried about my fiddle. I belong to my grandfather and uh, doesn't like the cold. Why, well, you're gonna need a place to stay tonight. That's the bar there. You can just follow those tracks on down to the hotel. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I can never remember all the dates. <laughs> Christmas my true love gave to me. Shoot. My girl was all excited about the present she got me. And they got that too. I should have been easier on her. You know what I got her? Sounds like a rough day. Let me buy you a beer. Yeah, <laughs> I work here part-time. <laughs> I get all the fun stuff. Holidays, nights. <sighs> How's your baby? Oh, she'll be all right now that we're inside. Where's Fred? I 
at the bar. Well, first things first. Let's warm you up. Great. Oh, Henry, darling, would you pass me my stuff? Keep my valuables behind the bar. Not that there's any danger in this town. Habit. What's this? This? Mm. I inherited from a friend. I don't play violin. Yeah. So I've never used it, but I've heard it used. That's amazing. Excuse the interruption, Susie, but uh, are you Fred? Oh, yeah, yeah. The hotel called. Said your girl just checked in. Great. Just great. She knows I'm here and she checks in the hotel instead. All by herself. <laughs> now, hold on a second, Fred. The hotel called for you. And I'm guessing they called because your girl asked them to. She's letting you know where she is? You might be right. Is she still there? Nobody ever knows all the days. I do. Fred always makes up new ones, though. Seven pigs of flying, six spoons of dancing. You sound almost as good as Fred. Fred, please. It was hard on him today. It's nice. It's the strings. Take a look. Those are one of a kind. They'll never break. They'll never play out of tune. What? Looks like they're gold. What Fred wouldn't give for those.
How'd you sleep? Great. I always sleep good next to you. Hey, baby. Mm, yeah. Where's your guitar? I got sick of it, traded it in. Just traded it in? What do you mean? What's this? Merry Christmas, Esther. But where's your guitar? Don't worry, we'll get another one. But Merry Christmas. guitar. <laughs> Morning. Help yourself. Hey, thanks. Oh, yeah, that's good. Do you know where we get some food? Uh, um, we missed dinner last night. You mean like a restaurant? Yeah, a grocery store or something. Hmm. Nothing's open now. I'll tell you what. A bunch of us are going over to Sarah's for a potluck later on. Turkey in the works. Why don't you join us? You know, I appreciate that, but uh, we don't have anything to bring. It doesn't matter. It's good food, good people. It's Christmas. You guys got to come. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm going to tell Esther. This is really so sweet of them, but we're showing up with nothing. Hey, but we got Christmas cheer. Be Fred Nestor. Come in. I'm Sarah. I'm so glad you guys could make it. Now let me take your coat. This really is so generous of you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Lyle tells me that you two are musicians. Maybe we can coax a song out of you later on. Here, let me introduce you around. Everyone, this is Fred and Esther. Fred and Esther, this is everyone. Thank you so much for sharing your Christmas with us. We 
Wish we had something to bring to your table, but... Well, how about a song? Hey. Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> Secret code that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for the music, do you? And it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift. The baffled king composing Hallelujah 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 Looks like you guys need a tow. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, where are we? <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. You got froze to death. You just sit tight there for a second while I get you rigged up. Oh, thanks. <sighs> what? I don't know. I guess we just fell asleep. Look. Not just me. I'm not the only crazy one. No. Nope. <laughs> to you and me both, baby. Merry Christmas, Esther. <laughs> Merry. 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 Merry.